Well, the weather was perfect this past weekend for thousands of people who visited the marina to watch the Canadian Forces Snowbirds performance or, or perform their impressive feats in the sky. Jessica Clement was at yesterday's show. She caught up with one of the pilots who has a personal connection to Thunder Bay. Thousands of residents flocked to the waterfront Sunday afternoon for the second day of the annual Kite Festival and to catch a glimpse of the Canadian Forces Snowbirds final show in the city. The team once again dazzled audiences with their 30-minute aerial performance, with the aerial stunts garnering cheers from crowds. We asked some attendees what they enjoyed most about the show. I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, because it was my first time ever watching it, so, yeah. Yeah, I thought the heart was really cool. That's probably my favorite part. Well, it was very nice to actually have an air show back here in Thunder Bay. Uh, last time I saw one, I was quite little, all things considered. But having snowbirds back, having anything back as a public showing of um, air prowess is always so nice to have. One of the Snowbird pilots was very familiar with Thunder Bay skies. Snowbird 6 pilot Captain Stephen Sparks took the aviation program at Confederation College back in 2011 and says it's exciting for him to be back. I started here at Conn College. Uh, this is where my aviation career started, uh, learning in the flight program there. Uh, I met my wife there. She's also a pilot and so uh, progressing from that and, and eventually coming back here today uh, is a really cool opportunity for me, right? This is uh, 10 years after graduating from Conn College, and, and so it's a, it's a cool, cool opportunity. And it's really nice to see people again that uh, I haven't seen in a while. Captain Sparks has been a snowbird since 2019 and says it takes a lot of hard work to perform the aerial stunts. Yeah, a lot of sweating going on in the in uh, weather like this, uh, but it's it's exhilarating and fun every time we get to go up and do it. Uh, we're never perfect, so we're always working and striving to to kind of get that perfect show. And uh, even though we never really do, uh, it's it's part of the the focus that we put into it. So it's it's fun. He adds that he hopes his team will be able to perform in Thunder Bay again sometime in the future. Year to year, we never really know what the lineup's going to be until kind of the off season comes, and then we do all the planning with the uh, the uh, air show community. Um, so, no promises for when we'd be back any given place, but uh, yeah, we we know the requests are always there, and we're always looking to to make our way back. Jessica Clement, TBT News.